as the Giants' new president of baseball operations. Uh, on the dais is Giants chairman Greg Johnson, Giants president of baseball operations Buster Posey, and Giants manager Bob Melvin. Uh, we'll have some opening remarks from Greg and Buster, and then we'll get into questions. Greg. Thanks, Matt. Well, welcome, everybody. Um, it certainly is a momentous day for the Giants organization. And uh, firstly, I'd like to thank all of the Giants fans for their tremendous support in what has been somewhat of an up and down and, and disappointing season. Uh, secondly, I'd like to thank Farhan uh, Zaidi for his six-year tenure as president of baseball operations. I've certainly enjoyed working with Farhan, have nothing but respect for him, and, and, and wish him well in the future. I also want to thank Kristen Posey for agreeing to this, because that may be one of the biggest sacrifices with four young ones at home. We, we certainly appreciate that. I mean, we all know Buster as the player, you know, all of the tremendous memories that, that uh, we, we had with him and him leading us to three World Series, um, the Hall of Fame MVP career. But it's th those aren't the reasons that we're here today. I think for, for me and, and for the board, you know, what we have observed with Buster and in, in working with him over the last three years is that competitive fire he has to win. Um, it, it didn't end when he took his jersey off. It, it's as strong today as ever. You know, I, I've grown to respect his, all of his skills and how he deals with people, his intellect, how he listens. It's, it, it's, it's, it's a we uh, mentality. And I think just really all of the skills you need in, in being a leader. Also, the pride he takes in the Giants organization and, and, and the responsibility that it comes with representing the Giants organization. So I think we believe there's no better person to lead the baseball side and set the right tone at the top for the Giants organization. But I think, I think the, the most important is just his desire to build the kind of team that lives up to the expectations of fans, of our fans. So uh, without further ado, I am thrilled and, and proud and privileged to uh, turn it over to our new president of baseball operations, Buster Posey. All right, thanks, Greg. Appreciate the kind words. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just excited. I'm excited to um, have an opportunity to be in this role. I'm excited to be a part of a team again. Um, San Francisco Giants organization is all I've ever known. Um, you know, and I think over the years as a player and in and, and the role I was in the last few years, um, I, I gained a pretty good sense of of what it means to fans um, to have great players and have great teams. Uh, I think back on some of my earliest memories walking into a spring training clubhouse and walking in and seeing Willie Mays sitting at a table with Willie McCovey and Gaylord Perry. Um, Juan Marichal, uh, Joe Malfitano. Uh, you know, the next week, it's, it's Will Clark, Jeff Kent, Barry Bonds. And I always appreciated, and I don't think I'd appreciated it as much when I was a younger player, but as time went on, I appreciated just what that meant, uh, not only to the community, but to us as players, and that there's a standard and expectation as, for being a San Francisco Giant. And uh, it's a privilege to uh, try to go out there on the field and, and uh, hold ourselves accountable to that standard. Um, you know, th those guys that I mentioned, you know, you can go more towards my era with, with Kane and Linscombe and, and Bumgarner and Crawford and Belt, and you could go on and on. And in my time, what, what I, again, what I came to realize is, yeah, sure, all of those guys were, were great players. Um, they were part of great teams. Um, but what those guys ultimately meant to the San Francisco Giants fan base and the community uh, was memories. And all of us that are lucky enough to get to be involved in baseball in whatever capacity, I think, uh, understand that, that not only is it the greatest game in the world, but uh, we're in the memory-making business. It's, it's ultimately entertainment. It's an opportunity for for grandparents and parents to uh, share memories with friends. It's an opportunity for stranger, strangers sitting out in the bleachers um, to share a great memory that happens at the ballpark and that can be talked about from 
uh, that time on for, for the rest of their life, potentially. So, um, you know, with that, all of that in mind, I just can't uh, say again how humbled I am to, to be in this role and, again, be a part of a team that's uh, hopefully looking forward to making, you know, more great memories for this, this fan base and community.